Georgia from Berry's Diary for our Windsor Eats special. So I'm here with Mom and Raul. So we would be going ahead and trying an Indian restaurant. So they're serving a buffet today. We are at Four Windsor Downtown. Uh, so we will be giving our honest, genuine review. So whenever you're in Windsor, uh, you can always come to that restaurant and uh, see for yourself. So stay tuned and uh, we will uh, be going ahead very shortly there. So now we have got some food on our plate. So I did get some chicken biryani to try and my usual papadums with some bundi raita and also some South Indian style fish with a lot of green bell pepper and another version of chicken. While my mom has also got some okra bindi with some veggies as well, plain rice. So, Rao, let's dig in and let our viewers know how we found this uh, restaurant and how did we find the buffet as for our honest review. Thank you. So, Rao, how are you finding your food? It's amazing. I think there are a lot of flavors, especially um, the bit of a South Indian touch uh, to the meal. And I've grabbed uh, chicken and lamb bone, including biryani. And I think uh, there's a burst full of flavors uh, to enjoy. So right now I'm also enjoying my food. As you can see, my plate is full, friends. Um, it's a burst of flavors, definitely a lot of exciting spices like the pepper, the coriander, the curry leaves. So lots happening on my plate. So while I eat through, I'll let you know how I'm finding more uh, exciting flavors in my tongue. Very yummy. 
Some more items here. So there's tangri kebab here, a chicken preparation, and also some karakmodi chicken. So this is some kind of a South Indian speciality. Absolutely, this looks pretty delicious and tempting. So I'll grab a few pieces of So some of karam podi chicken for all. And here looks to be a vegetarian upma. Upma and pongal. And I just try Dindi fry and tomato dal. So, vegetarian delight. Paneer butter masala and rajma masala. Very Again, standard. Standard vegetarian delight. So, Raul is grabbing some paneer. It smells very nice. Yeah, so we can give you an honest review, friends. Some mutton masala and ayo chicken curry. I'm looking to try some mutton here. Never heard about ayo chicken curry, so I can see some curry leaves there. So a South Indian preparation. Plain rice. Pulao rice here. So, are you going to try this? No. Vegetarian noodles. I might just uh, give this a bit of a try too. Just to try and taste what it looks like. Then we have the veg dum biryani. Looks very tempting. Looks definitely nice from here. The the rice is uh, definitely very nicely cooked. Then there is the boneless chicken biryani here, friends. Quite a good lot. Yes, again the rice seems very nicely cooked, and, and the meat definitely looks very fresh. And tender as well, Absolutely. with a lot of gravy and a lot of good pieces. Absolutely. Then there is the mutton dum biryani here. So Raul, will you try this? Yes, uh, I think I'm looking to try a of uh, the biryani here. And uh, some good chunky pieces of mutton as well. You can see how the quality of rice looks so nice. And it's very fluffy with nice uh, flavors i'm sure it has so. so hi friends my plate is full as you can see so i've got here some mutton biryani some upma on my plate as well this is uh, some kind of a masala corn this is vegetarian noodles some okra with crispy peanuts and this is masala idli so let me just get, try a bite of each and let you know so I'll start with the masala idli now. very fluffy idli friends really like the flavors so not spicy at all so yeah I'm enjoying this quite a bit so I'm now going to try the mutton biryani, so a bit of a gravy here, so I'm just going to have a Not bad, you can smell fresh spices, especially the curry leaves, uh, not spicy so far, not bad. A bit of upma, this is made of semolina as you can see and some uh, peanuts as well. Good taste, bit salty for my taste but not too bad either. Then we do have the okra. This is 
I'm going to put fried okra. Just like the homemade okra, so really, again, nice flavors, but nothing exotic, I must say. Then there is masala corn. Let me try this as well. Mm. Bit of a tangy touch. Bit nice, refreshing. I've never had uh, corn before like this, but yeah, it's quite a tangy, sari touch to it. Crispy as well. Crispy there. Last but not the least, the vegetarian noodles. Always a favorite with the crowd. I would say it's a bit bland. Nothing exciting going on here. But uh, yeah, a bit of uh, veggies. But yeah, not much of a kick in the vegetarian noodles. So yeah, so that's all on my plate right now, friends. So I'll continue eating. If I have anything more, I'll keep you posted with my review. Perfect. So, so friends, I'm just going to try some gulab jamun. They look oh, very that nice. looks very spongy gulab jamun. And I'm also going to be trying some halwa. So Rahul has got gulab jamuns and some halwa on his plate. So that's it for the sweets here and desserts. So, so friends, I'm just going to try some gulab jamun. They look oh, very that nice. looks very spongy gulab jamun. And I'm also going to be trying some halwa. So Rahul has got gulab jamuns and some halwa on his plate. So that's it for the sweets here and desserts. So mom has got some gulab jamuns and pineapple kesar halwa. So mom, do you want to try and, us, and let us know? How do you find the gulab jamun? Is it fluffy or not? And up to your taste? It's good. So mom is saying that the gulab jamun is actually quite good. It's fluffy? Yeah. So. Okay. And what about the time? First time I'm having this pineapple halwa. Pineapple halwa, so do you taste the pineapple? Yeah, the chunks of pineapple in it. Okay, chunks of pineapple. Okay. So she's saying both the desserts are actually quite good. The uh, Kesar pineapple halwa and also the gulab jamun. So let's uh, dig in and have ours.